You have the bag. I have the bag. You have the knife. I have the knife. Okay. The goats have done this thing. The goats have done this thing and I hate it so much. I hate it because it feels like a giant goat trip and fall hazard. You know, they're really bad tenants too. They're going around destroying stuff and they don't even play, pay rent. Like they didn't give a safety deposit, nothing. Hey. All right, Mike is crouching. <laughs> <laughs> we are um, shooting goblin -y things in the dark because it's fun. So a lot of these shots will be by flashlight. So um, yeah, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. We are, this is our first foraging together, isn't it? I think so. This is our first foraging on film. It's kind of nice that we can forage right in your backyard, though. It's awesome. I I love small town living. Mm. All right. Me too. So let's get to it. Oh, hey, I'm Sue, and we are here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. And this is Mike, and he knows so much stuff about mushrooms, and I am learning. So come on along. Mike, what's going on? Well, here we have a beautiful log with a bunch of witch's butter growing on it. Now, witch's butter is a lovely little jelly fungus that you can see its its texture is very squishy. Um, the stuff is perfectly edible and it is uh, mostly for texture. There's no flavor in it, but it's great for soup. We are going to pop off the pieces that look ready. And um, by look ready, I mean, I'm pretty much estimating at this point based on how full these little folds are in the mushroom so we can see this one's a little bit of a younger one but if we go this one's yeah. a little bit of a younger a little one. bit younger you can tell by the size of these different well the folds is really the best word i have for it okay. where if we go over here these ones are oh. much more thick and defined yeah so this one is actually a little bit slimy, so it might be past its date. But this one up here, this looks perfect. Nice. Now we'll leave that one. That one's starting to slime a little bit. So oh boy. We'll get this guy. So do you think this will thicken the soup as well? Uh, I'm not sure. Before we add cornstarch, we should find out. Maybe we can, um add the mushrooms first which we'll probably do anyway sounds right? fair to me yeah because we're gonna boil the shit out of them oh yes we are it's a tiny little this amount this one's still really little but you know you see those you see how mature it is though that's a good looking mushroom it's a pretty good looking mushroom and you know what we might only be getting a handful of this at the end of the day, but um, this is a mushroom that I've known about, but never have found in quantities enough to actually put into food. So I've never harvested it. Looks like that's it. I'm just super excited about this, just simply from yeah, the diversity, it, the content of diversity back here is just, ah, uh, so good. I know it looks weird, but that's kind of a beautiful color ask me oh it is really pretty let me see if i can find a way to do it without the shiny shiny okay where's the there we go oh my gosh that is a gorgeous color and i'd say that's yeah it's coming out on film like it is on film ha it's coming out on the uh the picture the same color it actually is out here yeah brilliant like yellow orange it's a fall color for sure all right. All right, back through the fairy arch. Here we go. Yeah, the ivy's climbing up. This is a nice slow project, but the ivy's climbing up. Our hops were lovely. They are done for the season. And this plant, this gorgeous plant is frost hardy. I don't remember what the heck it is, but wow, look at her. Okay, what are these guys? By my first thought, they might be a type of honey fungus. And we will see as they grow over the next couple of days if we are correct. And what do we know about honey fungus? What is, 
What should we know? Well, honey fungus will uh, grow out of the base of a tree normally. It is a parasite. Um, and uh, one of the reasons it's called honey fungus is because it has a very sweet smell to the mushroom. Oh, um, why won't we focus on you? There we go. So, um, honey funguses come in many different varieties around here. Some of them can cause uh, stomach upset, some of them could not. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a roulette whether or not you're going to get one or the other unless you know what you're doing. I so, would like to not eat them unless we knew exactly what's going on there. 100%. Awesome. Uh, I hear you. So, this is the last handful of days of just picking before the frost. We are. So there's so many folds in witch's butter that you really need to get the dirt out of the middle of them. Okay. Um, and not only that, but you see a little hitchhiker here. Oh, do we have a tiny friend that needs to be washed out? Yeah. Bye, friend. Sorry. May you find sustenance in the drain. And then these will go right into the freezer. We don't need to blanch them or anything. I don't know. It's going to be an experiment. Okay. We're going to put them right in the freezer then. What'd you say? I feel like if we freeze them um, and then boil them later, it won't really change the structure of the mushroom, um, nor will it change any of the nutrient content. Nice. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I mean, it's spongy, but it's a stand-up-y, kind of starchy. It's got starch in its color, this mushroom. It does. Oh, they're beautiful. They are. And you know, those. there are gonna be some specks that you can't get out of it, but, mm -hmm. um, at the same time, it's a it's a wood mushroom. Like, right, right. You know, you, there's going to be bits of wood in it, and that's not going to hurt you. Y'all know that anytime you eat shredded cheese, you're also eating wood chips, right? <laughs> wood dust. Now they still can't see us. Yeah, I know, but we both like the dark. Just, you know, it's better without a spotlight in our eyes. Oh, there we are. But then, but then we can't, people can't see us. They can't see us. And then it won't be interesting because it's just their voices. We'll just catch you up soon, okay? Good night, my fine hands. Sweeties, good night. Let's go to bed. Come on.